Hello, we meet again at Follow the Best channel. In this video just only educational purposes between Christians and Muslims. And this time Mr. Ahmed EX Muslim will give many Muslims educations the truth about Jesus Christ. Now, let's look at what Muslims said to Ahmad X Muslim so we can learn the truth from them. So enjoy watching video. Please share, comment and subscribe this channel. God bless you. Um, let me see this verse where, which chapter, Wahwaladi. There you go. Found it this chapter. MashaAllah, brother. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah, brother. Alhamdulillah, brother. Chapter 43. You can read it by, uh, from your side too. 84. MashaAllah, brother. MashaAllah. 43, 84, Surah al -Zukhruf. In Arabic said, وَهُوَ الَّذِي فِي السَّمَاءِ إِلَاهِ وَفِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَاهِ وَهُوَ الْحَكِيمُ الْعَلِيمُ Let's see in English too. Not just only Arabic. Right? So, it is he who is a God in, his, in the sky and God on the earth and he is the all-wise, the all-knowing. Allahu Akbar. Allah. Right. Wow. Go ahead, brother. Answer. There is Trinity. Go ahead. Okay, wonderful. So your analysis of the Quran is consistent with the way you analyze the Bible. The same way you look at John 20:28, 20, the same way you look at Titus 2:13, is the same way you're looking at these verses in the Quran. So you're, so you're consistent. <laughs> you're consistent in your methodology. That's not a problem. You're good. <laughs> Brother, go answer, answer. Where are you jumping to Bible? Your Allah teach you to run away to Bible to answer. I proved two <laughs> verses for you from Quran. So you, you, said you, you, were you, you, cut you, you said you're not going to cut me. And you're cutting me off. I don't give lectures. Answer. I speak for, I answer. Speak for after minutes. you finish, listen to me. After okay, you finish I'm, it, after you finish it, you're, you're from keep, your side, you're gonna Quran. Keep, you're gonna, you're not listen, gonna listen. Talk. Don't scare. You're don't scare. After you finish it, from your Quran, no, this is a problem. This you little, allowed this little, to this ask. Girl over listen, here listen. Cry yeah. About being cut answer, off. Answer. Answer. I prove it now, front of all guys, the Trinity from your Quran. You're not so letting me go. talk. So you're just being a little dick. So no, but you're jumping. Really you're jumping okay. on the topic. You're jumping you're to Bible. Okay. First of all, first of all. You're not going to curse in this chat. This is a Christian chat, ch a Christian life. We don't, we don't swear and curse. Brother Ahmad told you, proved that he just proved to you the Trinity in the Quran. What did you do? You ran to the Bible. We're not talking about the Bible. We are talking about the Quran. And what did you do with the Quran? You jumped right to the Bible and ignored what Ahmad's claim was. You are so when you when you, you jump joking. into another subject and into another uh, uh, category, right? That means you have no answer. So when you don't have an answer, you run. So what do you do? You jump into the Bible. Why? Because Ahmed just slam dunked you. That's why. And you can't answer him because, you know, like you can, you know, you can keep on running and running. But, you know, at, at the end, you know, there's a saying in Arabic, the snow melts and the shit shows. And that's what's happened with you guys. So you must answer, my friend, when we're talking about an Islam topic. Do not jump into the Bible. You want to talk about the Bible? That's another topic. We can have that discussion another time. Right now, we're talking about the Quran. Now, I'll give you one more chance. I will forgive you for swearing because the Lord tells me to forgive. But do not come on this channel and curse. We do not use foul language here, my friend. We don't. This is against the Bible rules. We are not allowed to curse. So, I'll give you one more try to protect Jason, your Bravo. Bravo, Jason. <laughs> All right, there I'm going to bring you up. And if you know, I'm just giving you the last chance.
Beautiful. So our methodology in understanding the Quran is that we look at the Quran and look at the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So if you claim that the Quran is, tre is teaching a trinity, then we should also see similar statements from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Finish it, brother? Yeah. We have a fake trinity because I prove it now, the original trinity from the Quran. But we have another two fake trinity in the Quran. Let me prove it for you. First one, Jibril. Who is Jibril in your Quran? Are you going to respond to my, my, my statement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is Jibril in your Quran? But are you going to respond to my statement? What? I prove it from Quran. You didn't accept Quran? No. You didn't accept Quran? No. Great. That's exactly, so that's exactly what I'm saying. We take the Quran. No, no, keep talking. We take the Quran. And the so now, the Prophet now let, me, let me dump the Quran. You didn't accept it. If you, Word if you, of your Allah. If you also take... If you also take what to move on, I think to move on, right? So now, you have so in Quran, so, no, no, Jibreel, you he, is, he is the Holy Spirit. And you have in Quran, Isa, Jesus, Isa, son of Mary, he is word of Allah, which means three trinity, a three person, so, mashallah. This is what I'm saying. If you're going to take the Quran out of context and give your own meaning, you'll find your meaning. How do you interpret? Let me ask you a quick question. How do you interpret? So let me let me answer you. You're a prophet Muhammad, peace be behind him. He received the books. He received the books, but he don't know. He didn't understanding the Trinity. For that, he complained in Quran. First of all, he asked Zaid. Do you know Zaid? Zaid. Zaid ibn Thabit. Zaid ibn Haritha. Zaid ibn Haritha. Yeah. Do you know him? Yep. He asked Zayd ibn Haritha to learn Aramaic or Hebrew, and he already learned it. Why? Because he said, I receive a books. I receive a books. I don't want to anybody to read it. So who prophet? He accept Muhammad, and he told him, you are a prophet. The pastor of Nazarian, Waraka bin Nofal, the pastor of Nazarian, he make it Muhammad a prophet. And in Sahih al-Bukhari, Kitab bit al-Wahi, chapter, chapter 1, hadith number 3, you can read it. He, he prove it for him, he is a prophet. Why? Because he tried to make him a pastor in Arabia area. But after he died, he tried to kill himself three times because revelation is a stop it. After uh, Pastor Y, after Weak Pastor, hadith. approve it? Weak you want me to approve it? Weak hadith in Bukhari. Okay. Weak hadith, Sahih al Bukhari, weak? Yes, those hadith are mentioned. Sahih al Bukhari, weak? Those are the few hadith that are weak. Those now, guys, two points. First of all, this guy, he said, don't want it, the Quran. Now, he proved it. Sahih al Bukhari is the weak. Let me, can I clarify with you, please? <laughs> can I clarify with you? What are we going to do with you, brother? You interrupted your Quran. You interrupted okay. your Hadith of Sahih. So now, according, listen, according your Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Let me okay. prove it for you. According you me, your you Imam, you I will, I will prove it now. Listen, listen. Let me, don't, don't, don't talk over. Let me prove it for you. So turn. now, I will prove it for you from Imam Ahmad, from Imam Zahabi, from Imam al Bayhaqi, Imam al Daraqutni, Imam al Awza'i. You are outside the Islam. Why? Because, first of all, you didn't accept the Quran. Like Mu'tazila uh, uh, better than you. Why? And Ash'ari. Because Mu'tazila and Ash'ari, Jahmiya, didn't say him like you said. Mu'tazila accept the Quran. everything that I said. I said, we take the Quran with the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace you, be upon him. So, That's this Quran, you take it or not? We take the Quran with the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So, this Quran, you take it or not? I asked you, this. how would you take wait. the verse? Wait, wait. How would you take so, the verse? This, this Quran, you take it or not? Of course, I take the Quran. But so, I take it with God, the two minutes ago, you Prophet said, no, Muhammad, you didn't take it. 
I didn't say that. I said if no, you take the Quran by itself. No, when I show it you, itself, when I show it you first about the I Trinity, said if you take the Quran by itself. You, you said will find it no. An interpretation that you want. You said no. We take the Quran with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So this Quran is Quran Muhammad. Clearly. Is Muhammad Quran? Ati Allah wa Ati Rasul. So okay. Right? So this Ati Quran. Yes, and you have to accept the hadith, uh, hadith al-Qudsi, al-Hadith al-Sahih from Sahih Bukhari. You have to accept right. it. Now you didn't accept it. Which hadith am I not accepting? So I told you the hadith when Muhammad tried to kill himself three yeah. times. And if you pull up any of the commentators on this yes, hadith, but this hadith, Imam, the, Imam Bukhari put this hadith next to strong hadith. What's the book name? To make it what's clear. the book name? That this particular hadith the is book what's his name the book and he clarified it so what we called about the book what's his name the book yeah Sahih Bukhari right but Imam Bukhari he put this hadith next to similar hadith that are strong so people can see the difference that's all it was the book name brother the book name is Sahih yes the book name is Sahih which means yeah. the scholars took it from all hadith from all hadith just specifically made it one I book know. your scholars I made I it know. one book and put it inside this book only the strong hadith that's not true hadith. But listen don't trust me talk to no. a scholar of hadith no, talk brother, to any other muslim brother, did you study the there sharia? are a couple did hadith study, that are added inside brother. bukhari sorry if I alongside the strong hadith brother. so people can see the difference that's yeah. all sorry if i ask you did you study the islam Sharia. Alhamdulillah, I'm a student of Islam. Did you study already or not? That's I'm studying. It's an endless study. What's your did specific you, question? Did you study the Sharia or not? A little bit, but I'm not a student of Sharia. I don't have a degree in Sharia. How about Al Mil Hadith? How can you know this Hadith is a strong Hadith? Because I've taken classes in the sciences of hadith, and how, this is the classic you know? example that they bring up where Imam Bukhari, they, you have, you have like five, other scholars, will put a weak pillars. hadith next to a strong hadith. This is a classic method brother, among the scholars of hadith no, no, to clarify brother, brother, where the hadith is. Brother, brother, don't use your brain. You have to use whatever we found from the scholars. So now, if I ask it you, how can you know according to the scholars? For example, Imam Sayyuti, he put it, Ilm al Hadith, first one. About, according Ilm al Hadith, how can we know this Hadith is a strong or Hassan or Ta'if or Munkar or Mu'allal or Shaz or Mawquf or Mursal? How can we know this Hadith? Go ahead. For this particular Hadith on the, on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if I read it, any Hadith to you. How can you know this hadith is a strong, Hassan, Sahih, Taif, Munkar, Shaz? How can this you? This is what the scholars of hadith do. They rank all the narrators. They rank the so quantity of hadith. The they, of figure scholars, out if right? they figure out if it's Ahad or Mutawatir. That's what they do. So, what does that mean, Mutawatir? If you know all the other Arabic words you said, then you know what Mutawatir yeah, What does that mean in English? What does that mean in English? Mutawatir is like the rain coming down. So the Quran it means is a, war, a large number of. People but narrating the same Quran, thing. Quran is mutawatir? Of course. So you said of course. How about if I prove it for you now? Quran is hadith da'if. Go for it. Great. So Quran, first of all, hadith is start. The hadith is start. By the way, your volume went down a lot. I don't know what happened, but your so volume went down. The hadith is start from, uh, narrated from. Your, your, vol your, vol your volume is way down. That, that, but the Quran, we don't have it there, which means... Ahmad, put the volume up a little bit, put the volume up of the microphone, it's a lot. Volume is a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. By the way, I got four minutes, I have to go to a meeting. No problem, brother, no problem, you are very welcome. We can continue and next time if you want. Anytime you are free. Yep. We can continue. No so anyway, problem. just to reinforce so, our methodology, we look at the Quran and the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If there's no looking at the life of the Prophet Muhammad, there's no so, understanding yeah, of the Quran. Yeah, but how can, how, can you know, how can you know the life of your you Prophet Muhammad if you didn't accept the hadith, just you choose it like you you like it, this hadith, you accept I don't choose. Listen, if you bring me the hadith about Aisha being six years old, I'm not going to say it's da'if. It's authentic 100%. This particular hadith you are quoting... This hadith you are quoting, 
about the jumping from the mountain, this is known to so be weak. All right? I'm not making up stuff as I go along. This is what the scholars of Hadith say, and that's it. So there's no there's no jumping around here. I'm not making it up to make the conversation more convenient for me. The brother here, he said he accept Hadith Aisha. Yeah, hundred percent. Come to see. Come. And I throw it at you because I know that's your favorite topic as well. But that that Hadith is authentic. Okay. There's no Come there's no see, mixing brother. and matching. Come it. To see. There no problem. We have Hadith. We have Hadith in Sunan Ibn Majah. Right. I would like to stick to the verse in the Quran that you started with. You know, I think you're jumping around now. Can we stick to the Can we stick to the verse you started with? Are we going to jump around? Let me prove it. I really want to. I have two minutes left. I have two minutes left. You're introducing a new topic. We're not going to be able to finish. Okay, let me finish it. Sunan Ibn Majah, Hadith number one nine four four. Narrated. It was narrated that who Aisha said. MashaAllah, brother. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah, brother. The verse of the stoning and of breastfeeding an adult ten times was revoked. MashaAllah, brother. Was revoked. And the paper was with me under my pillow. Right? So when the messenger of Allah dead, we were we were preoccupied occupied with his death. And a tame ship came and ate it. The holy tame ship ate the Quran, brother. Can we found it, this verse? Because Aisha um al Mu'minin, you accept Aisha. Aisha um al Mu'minin said, this verse <coughs> revealed in the book. So can you found this verse for me from the book, from the Quran, if you don't mind? No, it's abrogated. You know Nasif and Mansuk? Where? To where? You know Nasif and Mansuk, right? Yeah, I know. Alm and Nasikh. Alm and Nasikh, I know. Yeah. So where? So there's different where? types of Nasif and Mansuk. There's, abrogated there's, abrogated there's, there's where? abrogation where the... Verse? There's abrogation where the verse fades and the which rule doesn't verse? apply. And there's abrogation where the verse itself is completely removed. Can, can you know, you know of the hadith of the companions where they said, we used to recite a chapter that was as long as Surah so, Tawbah. But Umar ibn al-Khattab, you know he said, other, other, said other, other, Umar ibn al-Khattab, he said, we scared with the, the, in the future that people didn't found this verse in book of Allah. And if the people didn't say, I write the Quran from my hand, I will write it. So it didn't have a great... I didn't hear the first thing you said. Okay, let me prove it from from Omar ibn al-Khattab too. Okay. Anyway, Omar it's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. I, I have to go. I, I apologize. Maybe someone else can come up, but I have to go. It's 11 o'clock. Okay, this verse. All right. Just, just I'll get this you next hadith. time. Yeah, just this hadith. I gotta go. I'm sorry. You wanna go? How will microphone tabak? The sound is not good, Ahmed. معلش خليني اغير لانه انا المشكله يا خي بتعرف شو بدي قل لي خلي شوف ما شاء الله برادر هيك السماعه كيف so any muslim you know can come up you know have a little more knowledge to debate with ahmed we still you know we haven't found anyone that you know can have you know can answer his questions yet 